Okay, here we have it. All our lights set up on the tree up here, plus we have a scanner sitting on a little refrigerator over here. Uh, now, we have to figure out where to set these lights now. We have to do dip switch configurations and assign them DMX channels. Remember, we're going to be working with the Elation Operator 192. It gives us 12 fixtures that we can work with and uh, 192 DMX channels. Every fixture, if you remember, gets 16 channels. So how do you figure that out? There is a mathematical equation for it, but quite frankly, I'm not smart enough to uh, figure that out in my head or on paper or anything else. I'm going to use a sheet and I'm going to show it to you right now. This is my DMX by American DJ. Now, even if you never plan on buying my DMX, download the demo of this because there are some cool tools that I'm going to show you how to use today to uh, figure out some dip switch settings. Even if you're using a traditional DMX controller like the operator or maybe a Chevet controller, it doesn't matter. This is still going to be a great tool for you to figure out where to put your dip switches. What we're looking at right here is the DMX universe in my DMX. There are 512 little boxes in the universe. Here's number one. This is like channel number one. Way down here is channel 512. Now we're only going to be dealing with channel one through channel 192 with a product like the Elation Operator 192. But you've got the whole universe to look at. What we're going to be able to do is go into the scan library, which I'm going to show you in a minute, find the fixtures that we're going to be working with, drag and drop those fixtures into the universe, into the appropriate boxes, click on them, and right up here in the corner it's going to show us what our dip switch settings are. So I'm going to give you guys cheats today. Check it out. Right here we have what they call the scan library and uh, many manufacturers are represented here. So let's drag down and find Chauvet. Right here is Chauvet, let's click on it. Here's Color Splash Junior right here. It says right here Color Splash Junior 4 channels. Now originally this was a 4 channel light, they changed it halfway through production for some reason. I don't know why. It occupies 5 like I said, but it's not going to matter. We're going to drag it and drop it right here at the beginning occupying channels 1, 2, 3, and 4. It's actually going to occupy 5 too, but uh, for our purposes today, it doesn't really matter. It doesn't matter what light you drag into the first position. Your dip switch settings for uh, the Elation Operator are always going to look like this. I click on this, I scan over here, and look, switch number 1. It's always going to be 1. No matter what your first fixture is, it's going to be 1 as long as you've got 16 channels to work with. Even if you don't have 16 channels to work with, your first light is always going to be dip switch number one. Now I just dragged and dropped our second lighting which is the mega panel LED. It's going to start on channel 17. Now we're going to be able to go up to 32 if we want to, but we're not going to in this case. We're just going to use it in a channel. The dip switch settings for your second fixture with a product like the operator or any other 12 fixture type DMX controller, you're going to use dip switch 1 and 5. We don't have a profile for X laser in my DMX, but we know it's a 7 channel light. So I stuck a 7 channel profile into DMX channels 33 through 39. If you click on it and zoom in, you end up with dip switch 1 and 6. Our fourth light is the Galaxy and it occupies four DMX channels. Now, when I'm telling you what channels these occupy, it really doesn't matter for the dip switch settings. Uh, it means absolutely nothing. As long as it starts on channel 49 and it doesn't exceed 64, it's the fourth fixture. The dip switch settings, if this product had dip switches, would be dip switch 1, 5, and 6. The X-Move LED is an 8-channel DMX product. It's going to start at channel 65, and it can occupy up through channel 80, but it's really going through channel 72. For your fifth fixture, your dip switch settings will be 1 and 7. I loaded in 12 fixtures occupying channels 1 through 92, just to give you the dip switch sheets, because I know a lot of you could probably use these. Fixture number six, occupying channel 81 through 96, would be dip switch one, five, and seven. 
fixture number 7 occupying channels 98 through 112 would be dip switch 1, 6, and 7. Fixture number 8 occupying channels 113 through 128 would be dip switch 1, 5, 6, and 7. Fixture 9 occupying channels 129 through 144 would be dip switch settings 1 and 8. Fixture 10 occupying channels 145 through 160 would be dip switch 1, 5, and 8. Fixture 11 occupying channels 161 through 176 would be dip switch 1, 6 and 8. And finally, fixture number 12, occupying channels 177 through 192, would be dip switch 1, 5, 6, and 8. I hope you can see that okay. I'm doing the best I can with the dungeon under construction, but uh, now I'm going to show you how this all works. We're going to reach over here where it says fixtures, select fixture 1, keep your eye way over here at the little color splash junior we're gonna start make it do stuff see we're all controlling that DMX we can make it do all kinds of fun stuff now let's look at the uh, fixture 2 which is the mega panel it's gonna start doing fun stuff as well we can control it via DMX I honestly don't know what all the channels do but uh, hey, we got all kinds of crazy stuff going on. Look at that. Okay, fixture number three is our X laser. Look at that. We got laser beams. Giant laser beams. We got them all assigned to the right channels. Fixture four is the Galaxian. Here come the dots for the Galaxian. Cool light. Hope everybody got one for Christmas. And channel 5 would be the X move. It's going to start doing stuff here. One of these channels has to. There we go. Now it's doing stuff. Look at that. I have no idea what I'm making it do, but I'm making it do something. So there you have it. I hope that was helpful to you. And uh, if you have any questions, please ask. If I can't answer them, maybe uh, somebody out there in the YouTube DJ world can help you out. I'm going to do one more video on this. I'm going to do this whole thing, but with my DMX. And I'm going to go a little bit more into depth on how to set up lights without dip switches. Some of these have these uh, LCD control panels. We're going to get into that in the next video as well. So uh, until next time, practice and enjoy.